Hi everyone! I have gathered my glue gun and my glue stick and my non-stick mat. Um, and today I'm making some stencils. Beginning of May, um, lovely Lisa from the Lollipop box um, subscription boxes, she has a, a Facebook group called Lollipop Box Club Chat Group. Um, and this is a site where we share ideas and create and share our creative um, makes. Now, she, because it was her birth, it was the um, box's birthday, she did a scrap challenge. And one of the challenge was to make a background. And I have thought a lot of it um, on how I'm going to tackle the, 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 um, challenge um, and I stumbled across an, uh, a YouTube video about making your own stencils from a glue gun. There's lots of people that have done this before so I'm not the first to make it, um, I'm not the creator of it but I thought I'd give it a go and um, try it for myself. So yeah, so I hope you enjoy watching this video and also learn from it. I'll be making two kinds of stencil and I shall be back again when I'm going to use the stencil. So keep watching.
brush off from stamping up and diluted them in water in, an, in mini spray bottles so thought I'd use the flower pattern to start with and spray the red brush off first and I think it turned out okay there you go and then I laid it down at the one of the bottom corner, I think, yeah, it's the right hand bottom corner. And I thought, hmm, yellow might be good. And then at which point I'm starting to um, realize that it's now starting to pull, but I didn't stop there. And um, decided that I'm gonna do purple on each of the, the two corners that has been left. Now, at this point, I am now beginning to realize that everything is starting to pull because the paper is too wet. What I should have done is to is to dry in between um, application of spray. Um, but you know, these are the things we learn when we play. So yeah, shan't do that again. Um, or maybe I'll think before I even you know proceed with spraying again. So as, as I said, um, I um, used purple spray on the two corners that I've been left um, to do or blank. Um, but although it has pulled, I think it's, I think it turned out okay, I do say so myself. Um, and that's my first background done, really. Um, just trying it out with my and then this one I forgot when I started um, doing you know putting the pen uh, spraying the stencil I just realized I didn't press record um, so I thought I'd press it now you've seen what, what the outcome is and then I've placed the stencil again creating a pattern um, at that side Again, I'm starting to um, pull um, the spray again, so I thought I'd, I'd um, dry in between, um, so that you don't, you know, you don't, you don't lose the, the pattern really. Then I've um, used purple onto one side, and you'll see me flip, put my Lip. put my stencil on the last corner that still doesn't have any pattern and spray um, purple so this background paper is a combination of blue and purple color really and and I think this also turned out okay so on the side you haven't really seen is a little mop up paper that I've used to mop up the excess um, paint, not paints, but ink sprays from my stencils. And I thought I'd um, use that as well and try out the little stencils that I've made um, with square um, shapes and heart shapes. Um, some parts of it I wasn't too keen on and some parts of it are okay but it's still something that I can use in my journaling and um, yeah something I can use for something else it's basically making use of everything inside and not wasting them waste not what not So there you go guys, that's how I made the stencils and how I created the background paper. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe and if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I shall see you all soon. Bye!